Arizona's first experiment with solar technology came during the Apache Indian Wars. In the late 1880s, the U.S. Cavalry employed a device called the heliograph to establish lines of communication throughout Arizona and New Mexico. Equipped with mirrors and shutters, heliographs flashed Morse code in long and short bursts of brilliant light seen up to 60 miles away. A network of heliograph stations was established on a chain of 27 mountaintops. When Geronimo surrendered, he did so in part because the Apaches were fearful that the cavalry had the power to make the sun talk. The next major solar development was a solar-powered steam engine built by Aubrey G. Aeneas in 1904. The Aeneas engine had thousands of flat glass mirrors that concentrated the sun's rays on a boiler as it tracked the sun across the sky. It was put to work on a farm near Wilcox, where on a bright sunny day, it could pump enough water to irrigate 80 acres of dry but fertile land. By 1907, the Aeneas engine had fallen from favor as small gasoline engines and electric motors became available. Between the time of the Aeneas engine and World War II, many Arizonans provided hot water for their homes by using simple solar water heaters. Black barrels mounted on rooftops were filled with water in the morning, and by the end of the day, the water was hot enough for bathing and dishwashing. The advent of water heaters fueled by kerosene and natural gas brought a temporary halt to Arizona's developing solar water heating industry. In 1955, interest in solar energy surged again when the World Conference on Solar Energy was held in Tucson and Phoenix. The agenda included a great exposition of solar exhibits the most enduring being Bell Laboratories Silicon Solar Cell, which converted sunlight into electricity. The exposition created a wave of enthusiasm for solar energy, which has continued to the present day. Modern day solar pioneers, such as Barbara Kerr and Sherry Cole, inventors of the solar box cooker, John Yellett, solar researcher, Arthur Brown, passive solar architect, and others have found that Arizona's clear, dry air is ideally suited for solar energy research, experimentation, development, and deployment. Throughout Arizona's history, Inventors of solar devices like the heliograph, the Aeneas engine, barrel water heaters, solar cookers, and passive and active solar homes have opened the way to even greater accomplishments in solar technology. These individuals will always be Arizona's pioneers in the sun.